Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. Firstly, get excited. Um, we do have a visitor today. Hello. Megan is back um, for the Christmas Eve finale. Yes. So she is working. She's starting on a, a little project that is coming to the channel um, you will see the start of said project on the 29th of December I think the video goes up for it so not too long to wait you know Christmas is there as a distraction in between um, but yeah she is doing part of, part of that project part of that new project oh well it's just a bit different isn't it than yeah the usual videos um still diamond painting related don't worry we've not <laughs> completely gone off track not yet anyway yeah. <laughs> and also she is i think it's partly here because we do have a surprise later yeah that's part of the reason part of the reason excitement excitement yeah. christmas excitement can't get this close to christmas without something extra exactly so stay tuned please um but firstly i need to see how many of your questions so i've sort of got all the questions together that i can up to this point and i'm going to see if i can get through the rest of them and then i'm sure i have something to chat about if I run out but firstly thank you ever so much for all your questions it has made the whip and chats for this year so much easier I've just been able to answer your questions you've not had to ask me for topics this year yes <laughs> not had to think of topics and ask everybody I know for topics <laughs> to keep it going so i thank you ever so much for your questions by all means do ask any on this video though the next whip and chat isn't scheduled till after the new year um because i'm sort of taking a little bit of a break after this one yeah um and there are still videos for you guys so there will be no video tomorrow christmas day but after that, there will be a video a day. Um, there are ones that I have filmed while um, the advent's been going on. So I have made sure that all those are scheduled. And then I will be taking sort of a week off um, from YouTube and enjoying Christmas. Do you need a light pad with that one? No, it's all right. I'm just not used to this overhead light. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can see it. the symbols perfectly fine once so I get rid of the glare. <laughs> okay um okay so first question of, of the batch to go through so when keeping a log of your diamond paintings what information do you log oh that's funny. so i did have an app that i kept them all in until it got a little bit out of control and far too much time taken um because i was getting sent diamond paintings by companies but the main things that i used to keep hold of was I'd name the diamond painting, whatever the, the name of it was, and then it would be the likes of the size of the diamond painting, whether it's round or square, where it was purchased from, and how much it cost. Some people do also note down how long a diamond painting takes them to complete, and images, and then there's note sections as well. Um, but yeah, quite often a, there's a diamond painting logbook app. I have actually got a video on it. I'm pretty yes, I did do a video on it. Yep. Um, you can find it on it my on. website. Yeah, on the website. Yeah. Yep. I can't. What can you remember? What category it's under? Uh, applications. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, on the website. Uh, which is a four kids at 147.com. It's always in the description below. Um, if you go there, there is a, a title called Diamond Painting Videos, and then there's a few different sections. So in applications... It is just called Diamond Painting. It's not got videos in the title. It has. I added me. videos. When? Oh, you've been asleep. Oh, um, I've been busy. I did something on the website all by myself, but I'm so proud. Um, 
Yeah, so I added, I made it say diamond painting videos. It was somebody's suggestion that it would make a bit more sense, which it does because it it's all videos. Um, but yeah, under applications, it will link you to the video I did about the diamond painting logbook app. And that will tell you everything that the app can store for you. You can keep a record of the diamonds that came with it, um, the colours, the DMC colours, and your spares left over from it as well. Ooh. It does all sorts, does all sorts. Um, so yeah, if you like that finer detail, then go and check that out. So the next person asked... Um, um, you didn't talk about how you keep log of them now. <coughs> keep log of them now? Well, you don't log them, but you do organise them. I do organise them, yes. So we do have the stickers um, made by Megan, which are also on said website. There, there is a free download, or Megan and can print. Yeah, Megan can send, print and post them to you at a reasonable charge. So now I put a sticker on the diamond painting and the diamonds for it that says the name of it, whatever I chose to name it, the size, the store it's from, and the whether it's square, round, or yeah. special. <laughs> yeah, there's a tick box to say which one. And um, I just make sure that I have the same sticker or the same information on both the diamonds and the diamond painting. Makes it so much easier to ma match them up. It does, especially when we go through a reorganisation session. Yes, I have, I have mentioned that. Yeah, <laughs> everything everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so the next question is, what is your husband's reaction or thoughts on your paintings? Mine thinks they are time consuming and somewhat expensive. Now, my husband actually replied to this comment on YouTube. So, I will give you his reply because it's his thoughts. So, he says he likes how much enjoyment that I get from doing them and how much um, I get from building up my YouTube channel. I'm reading it sort of... I'm not reading it in the third person. That would be wrong. <laughs> um, and... and yeah, how much Beck gets from building her, or I get from building a YouTube <laughs> channel, and community of like-minded painters. Um, he says he also likes seeing the better community side of the internet, that your nice comments to each other show, because he is a PC gamer. So his hobby is a bit more expensive at times. Diamond painting and crafting in general, he's very right on this, is almost three hobbies in one. Shopping. Oh, we love a bit of shopping. <laughs> Might have done a bit of that today. Um, creating and enjoying what you've created. Enjoying what you've created is probably the reorganising. So do, I do do that a lot. Of. Yeah. Um, and he calls that good value for money. So I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Which is another reason we went shopping. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That that is what my husband thinks of it. He he doesn't he can't see how I enjoy it. You know, he can't see the benefits for himself because he wouldn't enjoy it. But he does recognise that I enjoy it and he's happy for me to get on and do it. Which I'll take as a win. Um okay, next question. Do you like Diamond Art Club? Um, somebody was thinking of buying from them, but they're not sure. So previously, I've only ever bought two paintings from Diamond Art Club. And in fact, this is a good one that Megan's here. Oh, yeah. There was a round and a square. How was your round Peter Pan, Megan? From what I remember, it was all right. Yeah? Yeah. I think it was only my square that I was disappointed with, to be fair. Yeah. It was one of the... I don't think I'd done many before you did that one. Before I did that one. Do you like the sparkly ABs though and stuff? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sparkly things. Yes. <laughs> extra, extra sparkle is always good. Yeah. Um, I have very recently purchased another Diamond Art Club. In fact, that is a video that will be coming up at some point. Uh, when's that one coming up? I actually have my calendar here, so mm. 
and I'm, oh yeah it's coming out on the 30th so see you do need to stay tuned 29th for our new project unboxing of diamond art club on the 30th um, and that is a round one so while I was a little bit disappointed with the square apparently they have had problems with that image in a square it just wasn't told to anybody that hadn't yet purchased it mm -hmm. yeah. it wasn't mentioned on their website so um, I had a little bit of disappointment from that but otherwise I've heard very good things there are a lot of people that do really like Diamond Art Club and on that basis I saw a picture that I liked so I decided to give them a second go so the unboxing for that is coming up um, and I'll let you know what it's like when I've done it I actually haven't kitted it up yet even though I've picked when the video of me kitting it up is going to go up <laughs> I still I still need to film it is that the one you're excited about yeah I'm actually yeah. kind of excited to do it I, I do I do think there is a level of quality there that's nice um, and, I, and I want to be excited to treat myself to a more expensive painting every now and then mm -hmm. um, so yeah I, I am excited to do it I do just have projects or just a few. <laughs> we just on another one, haven't we, for later on in the year. Yeah. Um, okay. Next question. Next question. How would you post a diamond painting that's done abroad Ooh. in a tube? I think would be the safest way is rolled up diamonds facing out in a cardboard postal tube is going to be your safest way of getting it where you want to go. I haven't posted a completed one abroad, though I have taken one abroad in my suitcase. And that did go oh, yeah. roll. <laughs> yeah, I took Ellie's, Ellie's ballerinas to her, um, who's my niece in Australia. And that went in my suitcase, in a tube, in a postal tube rolled up. Safest way to do it. So if you've got any diamond paintings that have come in a thick postal tube, use that. If not, you should be able to pick them up from the post office. Okay. Ah, oh, so somebody asked about a painting from Fan Cells the other day, uh, and I read it as a illumination one, one that lights up, yeah. which I've had before. That's not what she meant. She meant the luminous ones that use glow-in-the-dark drills. I got excited when I heard about this. Yes. I had no idea. While I do scroll through and, of course, choose what I'm going to unbox from fan cells, sometimes, well, to be honest, I just pick the pictures I like. I don't read the descriptions. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't. <laughs> We're on that side too much. Yeah. I don't, I don't look at, at what they call it unless it's a wolf that they call a dog and occasionally I'll spot that. Um, but I don't tend to look at the descriptions and stuff. I tend to just compile a list. So I completely missed the fact that it was luminous. So I don't know what they're like, but I have one on my order now. Um, Definitely. Though one has only just been delivered. In fact, it was delivered yesterday. Today. Um, for the next, yeah, today. Oh, for the, yeah. For the next few um, about unboxings. So I've got a few unboxings coming up. But I know that my contact, you know, to make sure that postage gets here, and, you know, there's no delays, he's, he's regularly asking for, for orders from me so it is on my list ready I have a luminous painting on there I um, don't even know what it is because you ordered it too quick <laughs> I haven't seen anything ah and then her other question was about the gems flow app so apparently is within the app you can record your paintings and it has a store tab so you can shop for diamond paintings I've not seen that. That might be something I'll check out these holidays. Mm. Sorry, drinking me breath. <laughs> I keep disappearing to have some of my drink. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know about the Gems Flow app. That's something I may have to look into. 
I think I have heard of the GEMS website. So I haven't. Yeah, so maybe I think there's one called Paint with Gems. I'm not sure if it's linked up. So maybe that's something I'll have to have a look at and get back to you. But that's why I love the comments and the questions as well, because it makes me aware of things I didn't know. And I missed them. Um, in fact, the last, the unboxing I did with the mystery diamond pain from Vanzels, that was because somebody commented about them and they came out just after I'd placed an order oh. with Vanzels and I was so gutted. I was like, oh, I'm sure these weren't here. Like, I only told them what I wanted a week ago. So you guys keep me aware of anything new and different and exciting that you like on the fan cells um, and I am more than happy to put in orders for this type of stuff that I miss so keep the ideas coming keep being as nosy as we are yeah okay so the next question does your husband get upset on how many diamond paintings you buy no <laughs> no no, um, I will always question buying a diamond painting enough times, especially when it's one that's more expensive. I will always question it multiple times before it comes to the point that I'm like, yes, I'm going to buy it. So in that instance, he will, he has no problem with, with what I'm getting. And the same with him with his computer. Believe me, right? I'm behind if we count, take into account the amount he spent on his computer in the oh, last yeah. year. I'm well behind. Um, but no, he doesn't question it. We both work full time. We both earn money. The kids are all older. Um, so we all buy our own stuff. <laughs> yeah, so while, we're, while they're all at home and we feed them all, we don't tend to... There's only really one that we're responsible for buying clothes for and all that sort of stuff, clothes and shoes. And, and she is the expensive one. She is the expensive one, but it's much <laughs> easier to deal with the expensive one than there's only one of them and not another three attached. Um, so, you know, uh, we, we have, you know, as long as we have the money and it's not leaving us short, he's, he's more than happy with what I spend. Um, and a lot of the time, if I am doing something that's a bit different, including said project, I actually class that as that comes out of, of revenue that I may get from YouTube from adverts. So quite often, whatever does come in from YouTube revenue goes into doing these, these weird things that I like to do for no other reason than for the channel. Um... So, it's not too bad. And, and then he, he bought me a light pad for my birthday, and that worked. Yeah, and both of you tend to question it too much by yourselves before you even mention it out loud. Exactly. So, we both know that by the time we mention it out loud, it, it's something that we really want. <laughs> so, if, if we thought through it enough to actually say it out loud, then the other person doesn't tend to have any, any qualms with that at all. That was a lot of black. But that was a bit more interesting, that black. It went here, there and everywhere. Yeah. I mean, I can't see because your arm's in the way when you do it. But well, you know. <laughs> Now I can see it. Yeah, that is a lot of black. <laughs> <laughs> and um, on lots and lots of blue. Okay. So somebody said they loved my videos. Thank you very much. Um, do you wash your diamond painting containers and the trays? <laughs> I have... On occasion wash the tray yeah so especially when I had this big white one more so um, you will occasionally have I will occasionally have you know some diamonds that are um, you know a little bit more bitty a little bit more flaky bits of plastic and stuff in that can sometimes get a bit more stuck on the tray and after time over time it can get a little bit mucky, so I will give it a wipe down, I'd say, more than a full wash. A baby wipe. Yeah, I normally. was going to say, I baby wipe mine when I've not diamond painted in a while, 
and it's just been sat gathering dust yeah it tends to get a quick wipe baby wipes ever since we got them when this one was a baby the house has had them ever since a long 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 time ago <laughs> <laughs> they come into yeah they, they have so many uses that it'd just be wrong not to have them in to be honest uh, oh how many pens have you got <laughs> you used a different one oh, nearly it? every day I did, and you counted them, didn't you, Megan? Yeah, it was like 22. Two? Yeah, from memory, it was 22 pens that I have. That includes my two. Yeah, three. Two. Sorry, two. no, two. The, the pink and blue one's technically not mine, even though I yes. picked it. I, I took it out of your room, but it was actually mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, I have about 20. And I may have just received another one in an order today. And ordered another one. And <laughs> potentially got another one. In fact, maybe another two on the potential fan sales order when it's time to order again. Um, yeah, I have a problem and I don't care. <laughs> it's just probably much nicer, nicer to use. use. Yeah, I do have quite a few that have been gifted. Um, and that is amazing. So I do have quite a few gifted pens, this one included. Um, I love them all. I love varying it up according to what I'm painting. And just mixing it up a little bit. She does like to flit. I do like to flit about between them. That's why she has sometimes three diamond pins on the go at once. Yeah, I'm liking that way of working at the moment. Okay. Oh, we are on the last section. Let me just have a drink. I reckon I'm going to get bored of blue very, very fast. Yeah, you only have one purple in that one. I, know. I have loads. Oh, oh there is a grey and a white and a bluey grey. Mm. Not too many sneak peeks. They've got to wait till the 29th. No, that's why my little picture's too far away. <laughs> that's why another reason why I went with the tiny one. So they couldn't see it, so you could actually move about with it. That, so I might actually get it done. <laughs> well, yeah. Confetti tree has not been touched in a while. Maybe this will get you back in the mood to finish confetti tree. Might get me in the mood to start Tinkerbell, if I'm being honest. Oh, yes. That's been sat on your shelf for nearly two months. It has. And I'm not, not a fan of knowing it's there. Mm, it'd be a good one to start. I need to get the course done first, though. Yes. Don't start me down <laughs> Too much stuff, too little time, and not enough sleep ever. Isn't that always the case? Yeah. This is what happens in a house full of key workers. We don't stop. Yeah. None of us seem to have stopped. Tear change? I just. What? <laughs> yeah. So, our tear has changed in Warrington. No, not, not yet. Boxing our tear is about to change <laughs> in Warrington, and we go from tier two to tier three. What does that mean? We're all still house? in work. No, no. Absolutely nothing. No. The, the, it does close a few places, but it wasn't places that we got to go to anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. I think the only difference really is we can't meet with up to six people in a private back garden. Yeah, we can't have garden parties anymore, but it's too cold for that anyway. Well, I say garden parties, there's six of us in the house anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, it just means we all can't be outside at once. Yeah, basically it just means that we can't nip and, and visit people on occasion um, and say hello in their garden. It would have to be in a public park. But to be honest, with the weather and the fact that it's winter... It's not happened for the past few months when we've been in tier two anyway. Or the no. past few weeks when we've been in tier two. I don't even know how long it's been we've been in tier two. No Since the last idea. lockdown, I don't know. It's all confusing. I reckon we'll be in a national lockdown again soon enough. So oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for that. I'm just and again, waiting. what difference will that make? Oh, that depends if they close schools quite a bit, because I'll be home. If they don't close schools, it'll make no difference at all. So I'll, if they close schools, I'll be home and I'll probably sign up for more stuff. And then we'll yeah. come out and I'll be like, oh, yeah. make the same mistake again. <laughs> yeah. If they close schools, 
Megan will. I enjoy my relaxing time. Maybe. So, and then I sign up for stuff. And then maybe I'll just stop you until you finish Confetti Tree, and that'll keep you going enough until lockdown's done. <sighs> um, okay, so somebody's asked why don't I multiplace? Two reasons. One, I haven't invested enough time into actually mastering the multiplacer. Not that I think it needs a huge amount of time, but I do think it needs, you know... It needs. It does need some concentration. A chunk of diamond painting. One is that, and two, I feel like I'm cheating <laughs> if I don't do the one diamond at a time. So I've just not invested in the time. So I did used to multiplace. Laziness or feel like a cheater? Pick, pick your answer, because they both sort of work. Yeah, I did, but then I didn't like the gaps that it left. Like, I could see where I'd done it compared to where I'd single placed. So now I just commit to the cause. Yes. Plus it sort of counts my steps because my watch is on this hand. Oh, <laughs> proper cheating. <laughs> I like the commit to the cause though. That's a yeah. good phrase. Okay, do you get special PJs on Christmas Eve? Yes. So the kids always do. The kids always get Christmas PJs or have done for a number of years ages can you even remember when you didn't or was it from when Catherine was young and you were like five no. or six no because i see i don't know i can't remember so you can't remember not having them okay that's good no. but tradition started <laughs> so old. started early enough for the oldest to not realize she there was a time she didn't get them I mean, um, it probably was, I just can't remember when it was. That That's fine. I, I enjoy that's PJs. That's fine. Um, so yeah, the kids have always had Christmas PJs. This year is the first year that we have gone family themed. Yeah, because we weren't too organised. No, well, it was just, I don't even know what made us start on it because it would have been easier to not go themed, but... We just felt like being a cringy Christmas. Well, it's 2020. You've exactly. not got cringy Christmas, what you got? Exactly. So, yeah, we decided to go cringy Christmas, so all six of us actually have Christmas PJs this year. And I'm not going to complain because I spend a lot of my life in PJs, thanks. Yeah, yeah Because I'm a home worker. Yeah, and quite often I don't get dressed because to see what's the point. And I come in from work, and if she's dressed, I'm like, where are you off to? Yeah. What special occasion's happening today? Exactly. <laughs> to be honest, you know, there's enough people in this house creating washing. I'm just, you know, saving the planet, saving the water. That's what I'm doing. Saving yourself a job. Yeah, that and all. <laughs> it's comfy. Um... <laughs> Okay, so great video as always. Thank you. Um, the picture's coming on beautifully. Do you diamond paint on the Christmas holidays with your daughters? As I remember you saying your son doesn't. Plus, do you get Christmas Eve, Eve PJs too? So Christmas Eve PJs is a yes. Do I diamond paint with my daughters on holiday? I'm diamond painting um, with one of them. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we may get some done. Um, Christmas Day is probably going to be a no. Boxing Day, maybe. Well, we're on further restrictions, aren't we? So The Tier 3 on, yeah. So that just stops us meeting up with family, doesn't it? Mm. We, we haven't got the extended Christmas period anymore. So Boxing Day will be like any other Boxing Day. We will spend it at home, potentially building stuff. We just then won't go and get somebody else to feed us. Yes, we won't go out for a buffet. But I'm sure there'll be there's enough stuff in the house already for us to eat. So yeah, yes, we'll figure that out. Um, okay, somebody says your waffling is like the US rambling on. Yeah. They were asking what waffling was. Rambling on. Yes, that makes I did, sense. I did see the waffling comment yeah. about waffling. That did give me a chuckle. Yeah. Um... As soon as I saw you say, a couple of people actually mentioned rambling on. Yes, that is what waffling is. Same difference, as I call it. Okay, we've only got a few more to go and I've only got a couple more colours. So, I've got a lot. And we've got to get to the good stuff. Yes, we do. So, the exciting thing. <laughs> How long have you been making videos? So, my channel has been over four years. 
diamond painting videos for two and a half years, roughly, um, is how long I've been making them for. And they've gent <laughs> gently got in um, more frequent. To the point now that they're very frequent, but you know, it's working. Um, yeah. Keeps me busy in 2020. And at the weekend. Which yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I've got work in the week. YouTube at the weekend. Jobs are good. And who needs to go out? <laughs> me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, okay, have you ever tried the angle tips? Somebody did ask this the other day. I haven't. I have ordered a pen. I may have ordered. This is the pen that's on order. But it comes <laughs> with an angle tip. That was my excuse. Um, so, yes, I do have one on order. I will feed back when I get a chance to play with it. Um, would the girl's auntie be open to sharing her recipe for mince pie? Oh, it's dead easy. Like, we usually just pick whatever one comes up on BBC Food or all recipes first. Okay. <laughs> Whichever one looks pretty. There you go. BBC Food or all recipes first. Mince pies. You do get the mix in a jar, though, don't you? So yeah, it's not mince like mix full comes on. in a jar. We make the pastry and we make the top. In the, top. the pastry in the mess. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's the easy way to get hold of it. It's It's... Sorry to burst your bubble, it's not an old long-term family recipe. Mostly afraid. because we're too unorganised to keep track of it. I mean, Nan's Barabrith recipe only survives because it's on my phone. Yes, I know where <laughs> that is, though. I know oh, where Nan's yeah. Barabrith is. It's in my cookbook. I know where the paper recipe is. It's in is. my Nana's my Nana's bakery book. And because I don't bake, it's very safe. Oh. Um, I use the one off my phone because I know exactly where that is when uh, this one decides to move things around. Mm. And then the last one is actually a comment that I thought was awesome. And <gasps> oh yeah, I think I this might be something... I'm not sure if it's going to be something for June. So let me know your thoughts. This might work for something a little bit different for June. Um, but what this lady does is she sections off all her picture and puts numbers on so like one two three four up to however many and then she draws numbers out of a cup and that's the square that she does yeah. i think that is a awesome way of doing it for a little bit of fun it still mixes them up but you don't quite know where you're where going, you going next yeah so I think I'll be doing that on a kitting up at some point in the future. It won't be for the next couple because they've already been done. <laughs> yeah. um, they've already been filmed before I knew this comment. Um, but I will do some in a kitting up coming up because I think it's exciting to try. And then let me know what you think of doing that for June. So we all pick our own painting. We number it in 30, 1 to 30, and we draw their things out of a cup. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. I like that. Okay. The painting is done. Halloween at Christmas. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Um, and yeah, our exciting, little bit of exciting Christmas cheer. Yes. What's that? It's probably an upside down road diamond. <laughs> There's loads of diamonds left with this though. Just in case you're wondering. That, that one's full. Oh no, it's just static. Yeah, that, that one's static. Is but the black is still something. pretty full. Anyway, well, that's a deep kitten I'm going to have to do. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely waiting for the new year. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Halloween at Christmas. Thank you to everybody that has joined me. Um, and I have mentioned a couple of times in my weapon chats that when I hit 10,000 subscribers... I will be doing some giveaways. Yeah. And I've all... been organising the giveaways. We have. And we decided. Or I decided. And we got a bit we... too excited. Yeah, we got excited <laughs> getting some potential giveaways together. And we decided that we would treat the Advent Calendar Watchers to a giveaway. And you can sort of dummy run. 
Test run, test run our, our new way that the giveaways are going to happen. So if you go to 4 kids at 147com there is a tab on the top called giveaway. And when you click on that, it will ask you for a password. So you need to enter the password, which I'll tell you in a minute, um, and then fill in the form, which asks for your name, your email, so we can contact you if you've won, and your YouTube name, so we can check that you've subscribed. Okay, and that's that's the data it asks for. It put collates it all into a spreadsheet for us, and we can do a random number ge number generator. Contact that person to get their address details, and then all data is destroyed. We yep. don't need to keep it for anything future. No. Nope. Um, as interesting as it would be to know who'd won here, there and everywhere, it's it's not our data to keep. We don't need to keep it, so it'll be gone. And if you win twice, lucky you. <laughs> yeah, basically, because we're not keeping track. No. Um, so, to enter the giveaway or to get access to the page, you need to put in the password advent. Okay, now all lowercase to keep things easy. Yeah. Type in advent and you've got 48 hours from this video going up. We were going to do 24, but it's, it's Christmas, Christmas day. day. And we'll probably forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have had a drink by then. Maybe um, a few. Maybe a few, yeah. No, you in were, your you're case. driving. Oh, no, my drinking days today, Christmas Eve. Um, <laughs> so, this is coffee. I'm, I'm telling you, it's definitely coffee, it's definitely um, coffee. at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to give it 48 hours, which is until my next video is up. So, if I've already got the next video up on the channel, the giveaway is ended. Closed. Giveaway's closed. Yep. Um, we will contact the winner, and that is sort of how we're going to run... The 10,000 subscribers giveaway we're just yeah. going to do it lots yes for the 10,000 subscribers giveaway so um yeah as a thank you for sticking with me for listening to my waffling or rambling depending on which country you're in um we wanted to give a little bit of something back um and share some of the diamond painting goodies with you all yeah so head over to the website before you get on with your christmas have an absolutely wonderful Christmas um, and have a great New Year. I know I have videos coming up. Yeah, but you've not. But they've already been filmed. Ages ago. So, Happy New Year to everybody. I'm not even sure what's due on New Year's Day. I think it's, oh, it's fan sales. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I gave them a day off on Christmas Day. But, um, yeah, have an absolutely wonderful New Year. I will be back in the New Year with a whip and chat. So we can do a little bit of a catch up. Yeah, catch up, refresh. Yeah. See if 2021's any better. Yeah, three days in. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna be any better for a good while. No. <laughs> um I think if if I think like that, I won't be disappointed. Yeah. I'll let you know if we're in another lockdown. <laughs> let you know if I get any extra time off work. <laughs> <laughs> you know how how the world's looking on this side um but yeah but you know however your christmas is you know tier one two three four complete lockdown seven <laughs> seven eight you know the numbers well. just keep going we never used to have a four now we have four um yeah however it's going just have the best christmas you can and you know, just make it as fun as you can in, in the bad circumstances. Oh, no, it does it 24 minutes. I'm all right. <laughs> a couple more minutes before my memory card shouts <laughs> at me. Um, but, yeah, have an awesome Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and we'll do it all again next year. Yeah. And in June. Yeah. They want it in June. I know. I might be free enough to do my own then. <laughs> oh, we'll see how that Don't goes. hold me to it. Yeah, I might have to hold you to that. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye. Bye.